I just got access to a brand new way to build custom AI agents using a platform called Chatbase. And with this platform, you could create a chatbot and add it to your website with all your knowledge base. But you could also now add these things called actions. These are the little AI agents that could do different things for you. I'm gonna show you some of these and exactly how to add it to your website in this video. So one is gonna collect leads on your website. One is gonna be able to search the web and actually deliver up-to-date information. If the knowledge base that you gave it doesn't have that information, you could connect it to things like Slack and Cal.com. And this one is my favorite one. You could actually add it to Calendly and it will book available slots from your Calendly account. So I already use Calendly, so this was a great fit. And you could also add action buttons. So I'm gonna show you a handful of these in this video. Now, if you're not familiar with Chatbase, I've actually partnered with them multiple times on this channel because they have one of the best and easy to use chatbot builders out there. And it's powered by either ChatGPT, Google Gemini, or even Claude, you could choose that. I'll show you that in a second. And I'll partner with them for this video specifically to show you these new AI agents. Now, when you create a chatbot with Chatbase, it's very straightforward. Again, I've covered this in different videos too, but on this page, you could give it different data sources and it will go ahead and get trained based on this data sources. So you could drop PDFs, Word docs, any type of text document here. You could copy and paste any text on this section of it. You could actually give it access to your website. It will crawl the website and it will go ahead and fetch all that information from those links. You could create a custom Q&A section over here, or if you use Notion, you could connect it to your Notion. Again, I've covered Notion in different videos as well. And with Notion, you could have your entire database and then add it to this chat base and then add that to your own website, that chatbot to your own website. I'll just quickly do it with a website here and I'll pull in all my information from my website. And over here, as this is fetching the links, you'll see this tells you this 11 million limit. This is the number of characters you could have as your source, as your training source. It's a massive, massive size right here. And this is just one of their starter plans. They even have a free plan too, so you could test it out with a lower character limit here for your database, but I typically recommend this plan. This is their first paid plan that I have over here. Now, once you train it, it's gonna bring you to this playground where you could kind of test it out to make sure it has the right knowledge, but you also could go to sources anytime and add more information. So this ended up scanning 285 different links on my website and it's still only under a million characters from all that information that he pulled into it. So it's gonna have everything about our business that we probably wanna include in a data source, but you could always add more and retrain the chatbot from here. Now, the next thing I did is I jumped into the settings tab over here and I went to the AI tab right here. And over here, you could actually change the model if you don't wanna use GPT-40, which right now is what I would prefer, so I left it on there, but you could also choose Claude if you like that more. Claude sometimes is a little bit different in its tone, so sometimes that makes sense for your chatbot. And you could also change the system instructions. So they have multiple system instructions that will change how this chatbot will behave depending on what you're using it for. And if you go to this connect tab, once you save this publicly, you could embed it on your website. So I have it as a full page embed, it's a little bit easier to see or you could do it as a chat bubble that will appear on the bottom like this one that you'll see over here where people could interact with it this way. Okay, here it is on my website. Now, this has all the knowledge for my website, but let me show you these agents and we'll test out how these agents work. The first one I wanna test out is this one right here to collect forms. So I'll go ahead and turn this on and let's go ahead and customize it over here. So when will we use this? Well, we could use this as the start of a conversation. I'll just leave the prompt at that and I'll save that here first. Then for your messages, what do you want after a successful message? Well, I'm gonna just say thank you for your submission. And then the dismiss message, if someone doesn't complete it, it just says you dismiss the form. So I saved these as well. And then you could decide which one of these fields do you wanna capture? So you could turn these on and off. Right now, I wanna capture email and I wanna capture phone number and we should also capture name. So I'm gonna turn all these on and we're gonna make name required. So let's go ahead and require that and email required, it'll get the little star here. So this is gonna pop up as a way to generate leads on your website, to capture leads on your website. And I'm gonna go ahead and save all that and this is all we need to do right over here. Okay, let me zoom into our chatbot on our website. So let's say someone starts a conversation here on the chatbot 
and they're going to ask to talk to someone. I want to talk to someone on your team. So what this is going to do is as long as I have that form ready, it's going to bring up that form right over here. And any field that I have required, you're going to get the star. So the name and email here, and then they'll just go ahead and press submit. So I'll do a quick test here. And then they get that check mark message here that I've already set up. And if I go back to chat base and click on the activities tab, I could see the chat logs, but I could also see any leads that came in. So this lead just came in right now and I could go ahead and export the leads from here too. And then I could go ahead and add it to my CRM or anywhere else I would like to add it to. Now, this next one will help you set up appointments automatically. So all you have to do is link it to Calendly. I'll show you this under this integration tab. You could link it to your Slack and to your Calendly. If you haven't used Calendly before, this is what it looks like. You could set a type of appointments and under availability, you could actually decide when you're available throughout the week. You could also set up holidays to not be available. So they have a tab for that. And these are just by default not available, but you could change all these settings. And you could also connect it to other calendars that you use. So I've gone ahead and connected it to my Google Calendar to check for any type of conflict there as well. Now, this actually checks your calendar and sets up the appointment accordingly. So from 9 to 1, I'm available on Wednesday, on Friday, 9 to 5. So now if I go back to actions, let me go ahead and turn this on. This is already on right now. Customize over here and I'm going to choose an event. So it knows the different events you have inside of your Calendly. So you could set up those events. I have one available here. And then it will have this set of instructions that you can change, but by default, it's pretty good. It says use it when a user's mention a booking. If there's no specific date, automatically set the window from today to one week from today. I made sure this is enabled over here. So let me go ahead and test it out. I need to book an appointment and it's going to go ahead and search. Look at this. I found available slots for appointments from December 10th to December 17th. These are the three dates that he picked and he stops because my instructions specifically say stop after one week. So if I click this nine and it ends at 1230. And if I go to Calendly on that day, those are the times I have available. So this is really nice. And if someone wants to book directly from here, they could click on a time. It takes them to that booking page. They type in their email and their name and any information I need and they schedule that event and they'll get an invite directly from Calendly. Now I'll show you two more over here. This one is really nice. This web search, you could go ahead and create an action from here. Okay, explain when an AI agent should use this action. It says when the user asks for a topic or questions you don't know the answer to, meaning the knowledge base of this AI chatbot powered by GPT doesn't know the answer, it will actually search for that information on the web. And you could even decide which domains you want to include if you want to limit the type of search that it does. I could leave this open and you could also include images to show up inside of the search box as well. And I asked it a question that I know for a fact has nothing to do with our knowledge base. Bitcoin price, December 10th, 2024 and Bitcoin price, 97,000 roughly, 96,925. And I checked it and that was about five minutes ago or so it was at that price point. So you could see this type of agent that could search the web for you inside of a chatbot that's inside of your website could make these type of chatbots a whole lot more useful, right? Because a lot of times if, if it doesn't know, it just says, I don't know. But I wanted to show you the power of this and a lot of the possibilities that you now have to have up to date information through this web browsing search of this AI chatbot available to anybody that's on your website. And if you wanna just turn it off, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off. And I wanna show you this custom button right here because this could come in really handy specifically for type of website that I'm adding this to. So you could describe the name of your action. This is gonna be sign up for free trial. So I'm gonna say use this action when a user asks about our free trial or how to sign up, go to a link. And then I could go ahead and give them a link to the section of the website that has a pricing section. I'm going to save that. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and enable that here. And when someone says, how do I sign up for the free trial? And look at this, you could create these custom links. You can sign up for the free trial by visiting this link. Enjoy exploring the features during the trial period. I'll try that. And there you go. It takes us right to this section. I could actually use this link 
which has the pricing section. Let me update it there. I'll put this link here that takes you directly to our pricing section since we don't have a pricing page. And I'll ask the same question again. Let's try this link. Okay, perfect. That just scrolled right to the pricing section so someone could start the free trial directly from here. So having an AI chatbot on your website with your own knowledge base was already great. One of my favorite things in the world of AI, but now having these actions, these AI agents that could do things for you, that could set appointments for you, that could check your calendar for you, that could even send things to Slack, which you could also do on here, search the web, really powerful stuff. Now, if you wanna try chat base for yourself, add some of these actions, I'll have a link in the description of this video where you could go ahead and sign up there. Thanks so much for Chatface for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.